This is Saltwater Ecosystems by Ha, Rachel, Emily, Shannon, and Echo. Here are some facts about ocean and basic. 98% of the ocean has not even been explored yet. The biggest ocean in the world is the Pacific Ocean. 500,000 species have not yet been discovered in the Pacific Ocean. A sea is like a smaller ocean, like the South China Sea. The ocean makes up 70% of the Earth's surface. More than half this area is salt water, and it is 9,000 feet deep. There are actually two major oceans called the World Ocean and the Black Ocean. We are now going to talk about the Pacific Ocean. The intertidal zone contains these animals, green turtles, ghost crabs, and sea slugs. All these animals, except for the sea slug, adapt to land and water habitats because the tides wash up these animals onto the sand. Here are some facts about these animals. Now back to the green turtles. They eat sea grasses, seaweed, and mangrove fruits. Green turtles use their sense of smell and sight to find food. Young turtles float together near seaweed. They catch small crabs and shrimps in their mouth and swallow them. Sharks and fish eat green turtles. Crabs and birds, especially, and seagulls eat hatchlings. Green turtles move slowly on land using their flippers in a rowing action. Every two to eight years, green turtles come ashore and lay up to 1,800 eggs at a time. Next are the ghost crabs. They are light gray in color with a round shell. Ghost crabs are three and five tenths centimeters wide across their shell. Ghost crabs eat small particles of dead plants and animals. They also eat algae and bacteria. Ghost crabs come out of their burrows to get food at night. They scoop up sand and mud with their front claws, and they dig through it for food. Birds and fish eat ghost crabs. We are now going to talk about sea slugs. They are about four centimeters long. They are brightly colored and have a pair of antennas on their head. These sea slugs have a blue or blue-white underside. They are silvery gray colored on top. They float on the surface of the ocean belly side up. These sea slugs float on the surface of the water. Seabirds and fish eat sea slugs. We are going to talk about plants now. We are going to start with the Neptune's necklace. They are found on rocky shores and are usually attached to rocks. Neptune's necklace is the colors green and brown. It can grow up to 30 centimeters long. It has many pieces all joined together and looks like a string of pearls. Sea urchins, crabs, and fish eat Neptune's necklace. Now on to the coral. The coral needs to be in 65 to 87 degrees in Fahrenheit in the water for the coral to live. Coral is not just a plant, it's a home to fish and protects the fish in the home. Fish are losing their home because coral is an endangered because of human activity. The other threat to coral is the changing temperatures in the ocean. Now we are moving on to the near shore zone where it contains these animals, the West Indian manatee and the Australian angel shark. The near shore zone contains no plants because the sunlight cannot reach the bottom. Now we are going to talk about the West Indian manatee. They are large, gray, and aquatic mammals with bodies that become narrower until its body reaches its flat, paddle-shaped tail. Their head and face are wrinkled with whiskers on the snout. Manatees are gentle, slow-moving animals that are endangered because boats are hitting them. Now we are going to talk about the Australian angel shark. They lay on the bottom floor with only eyes visible. When prey goes past, they jump out and catch the prey with their needle-like teeth. They hold their food in their teeth before swallowing. When they give birth, they usually have 20 young at a time. They are not dangerous, but when tempted, they will attack. Now we are going to discuss the open ocean zone. It contains these animals, the jellyfish and orca whales. There are no plants because in the open ocean zone because the sunlight cannot reach the bottom, so plants are unable to do the process photosynthesis. We are now going to discuss the jellyfish. Its early life cycle of the jellyfish is similar to coral. 
larvae are carried through the water until they find a hard surface on which to attach themselves. Jellyfish have a short lifespan, the longer surviving species living only two to six months, usually dying in rough waters or being eaten by predators. Ocean sunfish and leatherback turtles are two of the most common jellyfish predators. Now to the orca whales, which have black with white on their underparts, above each eye and on each flank. The nose is rounded and the strong jaws have 40 to 50 large, sharp, pointed teeth. Orca whales live in groups from 2 to 50. They feed on fish, penguins, and though they are violent predators of seals and even other whales, there is no record or example of a killer whale attacking a human. There are more organisms in the ocean, but we just listed these. There is different water life, but these are the basics of salt water. This is where we got our information. Thank you.